Hello everyone, today we have an iPhone 11 Pro with the classic Face ID problem. Move a little higher, move a little lower. But in the new iOS, like here, it just says Face ID is not available right now. So as you can see, the proximity sensor and the ambient light sensor are working. So it's most likely the dot projector. So let's disassemble the phone and check the dot projector. As you can see, there is a water damage marks on the shields inside. And as we all know, electronics doesn't like water. As the tester shows, the dot projector is the problem. So in this video, I will be repairing the dot projector using I2C programmer and chip. I've bought them for a while and wanted to try them. And what better time to try them than on a YouTube video. Also, you will see how easy it is to repair dot projector using I2C chips. All we need is to connect the dot projector to the programmer. And the programmer is totally offline. It's only connected to the charger to power it on and click read and then select where you want to save the info inside the old chip and then click test which is ok in this menu and you can start replacing the chip with a new one. So the iPhone 11 Pro dot projector housing has a barrier which needs to be bent so you can take out the dot projector. Just gently with your fingernail bend it a little and then using a needle nose pliers just bend it all the way to make enough room to take out the dot projector. You need to mark the flex cable just to know the right position of the dot projector when you glue it back. Then apply low heat to remove the flex cable from the housing. Now clean the underfill around the chip. Then to remove the chip, apply solder to your soldering iron and apply it on the chip. That way you won't overheat the flex cable. Also do the same thing to the power transistor fuse to remove it. Clean 
the pads from the old solder and apply a new solder, as in the video. So the chip needs to be soldered lower due to the tight space in between the housing and the Prisma crystal. Renew the pads on the adapter and then solder the adapter. Apply new pads to the upper side of the adapter. Solder the chip correctly, but first, renew the pads on the chip, as the chip has large pads from the factory. It won't let the flex cable to get into the housing. Remember, it's very important to make sure that everything sits very low, so the flex cable can get into the housing, otherwise the chip can be damaged. Then connect the flex to the programmer and write the data to the new chip and test the work. As you can see, we have our dot projector working. to glue the flex cable back to the housing. Simply slide the dot projector into the housing and apply super glue or instant glue and let it dry. Make sure it is in the correct position. And then put it into the dot projector fixture and apply a hot gun glue to the sides as so and let it dry. Then bend the barrier back to its place and assemble the phone for the final test.
And there you have it, the Face ID is back to work. So that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more interesting repair videos. And if you have any other question, just leave them in the comment section down below and I will try to answer them. See you next time.